All right, I was told I have three minutes, so I want to be concise. So one of the biggest challenges, oh, my name is Leo Cruz, by the way, representing College of San Mateo. Thank you for my wonderful group for making these wonderful slides. Um, one of the biggest challenges that colleges and universities face, all of us in this room and throughout the US, is COVID-19. Um, and it really forced us to shift how we view education and how we do education. Um, for better or for worse, uh, we had to re-examine how we deliver instruction, student services, and the multiple modalities um, that come along with that. Although COVID-19 was a tragic experience um, for everyone involved, it forced us to do much needed work. Uh, there are certain systems and processes that, in my opinion, this our college were outdated, but having paper forms and having to turn it in person and all that stuff, so you know, doing things online to help. Another striking challenge that all institutions face across the U.S. is a decline in enrollment. Um, and in some cases, certain institutions closing. In an effort to combat this, San Mateo County Community College District introduced SB 893 legislation that allows students to, uh, as long as you're a San Mateo County resident and you're uh, pursuing a certificate or degree, uh, your tuition would be covered. There's some other uh, elements that, you know, like textbook and other kind of components as well depending on certain criteria. Um, this resulted in us having a 19% increase in enrollment compared to our previous fall semester, which is obviously good news. Um, however, um, as we may be aware, just throwing money at things isn't always the best thing and doesn't always solve all of our problems. So now, uh, the thing that we're gonna be focusing on is now that we have these students here, how do we support them? We have a lot of great programs at College of San Mateo, including Promise Scholars Program, EOPS, Learning Communities, etc. But one of the issues that we're facing is that only 2,000 of our students are connected to special programs or a kind of support programs. Um, that leaves 11,000 students that we have that are not connected to any special programs or support. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on retention. Uh, the students that we have, the 13,000 students, um, how can we make sure that we not only bring them and that they have access to uh, education, but also how we can explore ways to retain them. Thank you.